Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and I hope you love cookbooks as much as we do, and that's why you're here. Today we're going to look through Cloda's Suppers, Suppers to Celebrate the Seasons by Cloda McKenna. I picked it up at the library. I haven't read through it. I haven't cooked anything out of it. We're just going to do a sneak preview today to give, help you figure out if you want to pick one up at your library or on Amazon. We have an affiliate link in the description down below. Let's check out what's going on in the back. It says, my passion is to host suppers. My heart fills with joy when I see friends enjoying my food. That's sweet. With 120 delicious recipes that take you effortlessly through the year, from a vibrant wild garlic soup to a deeply satisfying roast butternut, cashel blue and saffron pasta dish. Excuse me, this font is kind of light and hard to read. Cloda shows us how to create stunning meals that showcase the finest seasonal produce from creating a well-balanced menu to laying a beautiful table, her husp oh inspirational ideas cover everything from simple cocktails and easy nibbles to edible gifts that will ensure everyone leaves with something to remember the evening by. See, there, I do know how to read. <laughs> okay, that was tough. Ah, light font. Okay, this came out in 2019, and this is my favorite color, which is why I'm wearing some teal on myself today. Do you call it teal or aqua? So, Cloda Suppers. It's from Kyle Books. There's our author. Suppers to celebrate the seasons. Photography by Dora Kazmarek. And the table of contents is super simple. The menu, the prep, the table, ambiance, spring suppers, summer suppers, fall suppers, winter suppers, and then cocktails, snacks, and afters. I like this already. Shall we peek at a little bit of the introduction? I will attempt to do a better job of reading to you and just check it out. She writes, I am never happier than seeing my loved ones sitting around the table with smiles on their faces as they enjoy delicious home-cooked food in a beautiful setting. The importance of supper at home has been instilled in me since I was a child. Me too. I have so many amazing memories of suppers shared with my family when we were children. The table laid with proper linen, fresh flowers, and bowls of home-cooked food. The suppers nearly, nearly always ended with someone singing a song, or one of us giving some sort of performance. This has now become a tradition at my suppers in my own home, sometimes even beginning before the main course hits the table. For me, this is what life is all about, enjoying memorable moments together. Oh, nice. And here she's showing off some of her beautiful table setting skills. We're peeking at the menu and she's teaching us about cooking in season and balancing your menu and how to prep for your party. That's always stressful, but if you the better you prep, the less stressful it is. The table, she's explaining linen, flowers, handwritten menus. Pretty, pretty photo. Tables in spring, she decorates differently in fall and winter, as most of us probably do. Here's an example of a beautifully set table. All right, menus. We're in spring. She gives us several options. A spring supper for two, a spring roast lamb supper, wild garlic forest supper, St. Patrick's Day supper. Easter supper, fish supper, and a spring gathering. So, first recipe of the book, gorgeous. It is wild garlic soup with toasted almonds and, specifically, sheep cheese. I'm going to skip ahead because I can't show you the whole book. Spring pea, pea shoot, pancetta, and goat cheese salad. I guess I don't need these glasses to read this nice big font. Yay! Salt baked potato with creme fraiche and trout caviar, specifically. Roasted butterflied lamb with salsa verde, for example. I'm going to start skipping ahead a little. We're, st we're still in spring. Lobster linguine. And a pretty coconut and lemon cloud cake. Or perhaps you would serve gorgeous, wow, rhubarb, rose water, and pistachio galettes in early spring. That's pretty amazing. Here's something called Shrimp Pill Pill with Dipping Toasts. I have no idea what Pill Pill is. I'll have to look that up later. Beet Blood Orange and Gin Cured Salmon with Fennel and Dill Pickle. Barbecued Round Steak with Chimichurri and Charred Chicory. That is a tongue twister. <laughs> I think we're in summer because here's Seafood Paella. I think I jumped ahead. Watermelon and mint granita. Okay, we're in the summer chapter. That that settles it. Orange blossom summer cake with cream and strawberries. Please have a photo. 
There's no picture of carrageen moss puddings with carrageen fritters, but here's a sweet geranium cheesecake. At least that one has a photo. So not every picture in the book or every recipe has a photo. Here's fall suppers. We're in the fall chapter. Here, oh, shall we read about what kind of party she gives us? Fall gathering, farmhouse cheese supper, fireside supper, New York harvest, North northern Italian wild mushroom supper, one pot fall supper, tempting, and a Sunday roast. Here's a Irish farmhouse cheese souffle. I was just watching a myth-busting video that says souffles do not fall if your children or dogs run by the oven when you're making it, and the chef swears that souffles are easier to make than we think, so I might try this. Spiced butternut squash and coconut soup with pumpkin seed bread. Great fall item. Roast pork with apples and blackberries. Chocolate beef chili with jalapeno and cheese scones. Wow, I've never heard of chocolate chili. I bet my boyfriend would love that. Salmon fish cakes with horse horseradish cream. Boy, I'm really tongue-tied today. Coolia cheese potato dumping dumplings with sage butter. I don't know what coolia is. It's spelled C-O-O-L-E-A. Hmm, I'm going to have to look that up too. Baked apples with dates and spices served with vanilla custard. Did we jump into winter? Vanilla panna cotta with honeyed figs. No, I think winter starts right here. Banana cake with coconut frosting. Are we in winter? Brussels sprout petal salad. Sounds wintry to me. Baked whole Vacherin Mont d'Or with rosemary crisp breads. Beautiful broiled cauliflower with sumac yogurt and hazelnuts and pomegranate. There's quite a bit of hazelnuts in this cookbook. And are we kale, bean, and winter root soup? Let's take a peek at what is this gorgeous dessert? Pistachio and rose water florentines. So I never did find the winter chapter beginning. Plum pudding ice cream. Hey, I have plum trees in my backyard. They don't always give fruit though. Oh, and the cocktail snacks and afters. Okay. What you got for us? This is called the Smoky and Lime Mint and Sea Salt Cocktail. Rosemary and Lemon Gin Soda or Blackberry and Rosemary Cocktail. That sounds like summer to me. Tuscan White Bean and Rosemary Dip. Sounds amazing. And a Spring Pea Guacamole with Radishes. All right. What did you think of Clota's Suppers? I'd love to hear your reactions in the comments below, and thanks for watching our cookbook look-through. You can see more of them at the cookbookdivas.com website and on our YouTube channel. We have a podcast if you want to listen to us chat about cookbook news, and we post cookbook news to Facebook and Instagram. And we now have a new Amazon Live shopping channel, Amazon Live slash Cookbook Divas, where you can chat with us while we all talk about cookbooks and cooking and shop together. <laughs> thanks for watching. See you in the next video.